With all of its structural elements now attached to the International Space Station, the European Space Agency ESA is making full use of this unique facility in orbit. Three of its astronauts have been training for separate missions at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Paolo Nespoli and Roberto Vittori are both Italian members of ESA's European Astronaut Corps, whilst Andre Kerpers is from the Netherlands. Although each has already visited the ISS, extensive training programs are needed to prepare them for their forthcoming missions. People ask me, uh, why do you have to train? You've already been there. Uh, but uh, there's, there are new model, modules. We have, of course, um, uh, the Columbus module, that's for sure. Uh, that's, uh, that's a new module that wasn't there when I was there for the first time. We have uh, a Japanese part. We have several new nodes. Uh, the Russians have new models. So there's a lot of new things to learn. Each astronaut has to undergo many months of international training to prepare for every eventuality. Once in orbit, there'll be no room for error. We do carry out training on uh, each one of the segments uh, that are built by the, the partners of the International Space Station, uh, US, uh, Europe, Canada, Japan and Russia, and each country maintain training for their own segment. Paolo Nespoli is scheduled to fly to the station in December 2010, remaining on board for six months. This will be the third long duration stay on board the ISS by a European astronaut. A mission of similar duration will be carried out by Andre Kerpers roughly a year later. Both astronauts will travel to the station in Russian Soyuz modules. Roberto Vittori will be the last non-US astronaut to be carried to the ISS by a NASA space shuttle. His mission will last 10 days. Training for a space flight is what ensures a mission success. The training to fly on the shuttle includes theoretical part, uh, simulators for the space shuttle, physical training, but also flying aircraft. And that is uh, uh, partially for getting used to the G force, partially to get used to the operational environment that is unique in flying. Each astronaut must be experienced with the huge array of controls and experiments that they'll be encountering on board the ISS. Simulators at the Johnson Space Center are able to virtually replicate conditions in orbit. The Virtual Reality Lab is a special lab that is able essentially to place us in space and uh, kind of uh, simulate what would happen in certain special situations. For example, if you're doing a spacewalk and suddenly you would be thrown off to the station and you are tumbling in space. To simulate the weightlessness of being in orbit, neutral buoyancy training is carried out in huge diving pools. If you really want to practice for spacewalks, uh, the MBL is, uh, is the place. We also have facilities in Russia, also uh, very uh, uh, very good, extensive, and even in Cologne. Uh, yeah, you, you're underwater for six hours and you do the tasks that you might do uh, on board of the station. It's hoped that operations on board the International Space Station will continue as far into the future as 2020. As these veteran astronauts build upon their experience and training, ESA is already preparing a new generation of astronauts to follow in their footsteps safeguarding its role at the forefront of space exploration and development in the coming years.